when one of our long-term patients, James, passed away, his parents donated some money to the ward and asked that it was spent on a garden project. So one Saturday we all got together, we cleared huge weeds and brambles and you name it, it was in there. And then we had planting Saturdays when people came along and importantly to maintain the involvement of our patients on the ward, we encouraged them to plant and grow sunflowers for us. We've got this wonderful mural of a train coming through a tunnel. We've got a huge Isle of Wight poster which looks fantastic. We've got flower panels. Um, somebody very well known came to open the garden. Uh, it was a lovely Melvin Hayes and um, he, James and his dad, used to sit in James's room and watch reruns of It Ain't Half Hot Mum and you could hear them laughing and it was that sort of joyousness that Melvin brought to the opening and that we hope will make will continue in the garden, you know, for years to come. Because although James isn't here, the garden's here for him in his name and it will grow and it will mature and it will be there with the name James Sparks on it forever. <laughs>